Welcome to the poignant saga of Preachard Colon, an aspiring pugilist whose meteoric rise and tragic fall epitomize the triumphs and trials of the boxing world. Born on a balmy September day in 1992, amidst the verdant hills of Oracovis, Puerto Rico, Preachard's journey began with a passion for the sweet science that burned bright from an early age. From his earliest memories, Pritchard was drawn to the rhythm of the gym, the smell of sweat mingling with leather, and the camaraderie of fellow fighters. Encouraged by his supportive family, he embraced the discipline and dedication required to excel in a sport where every punch the throne is a testament to one's fortitude. As Pritchard honed his craft in local gyms and amateur tournaments, his natural talent and ferocious work ethic caught the eye of scouts and promoters eager to harness his potential. With each victory, Pritchard's reputation grew. His name whispered in reverent tones among boxing aficionados who recognized his potential to leave an indelible mark on the sport. And so, with the world at his feet, Pritchard embarked on his professional career, stepping into the ring with the confidence of a champion and the hunger of a contender. Fight after fight, Pritchard dazzled audiences with his lightning-fast combinations and unyielding resolve, each victory propelling him closer to the pinnacle of his sport. But in the unforgiving world of professional boxing, success often comes with a price, a price paid in blood and sacrifice. On October 17, 2015, Pritchard stepped into the ring to face off against Terrell Williams, a formidable opponent with a reputation for delivering bone-crushing blows. From round one all the way to the end, the referee did not control the action properly, which allowed Tommy Williams to land multiple shots in the back of the head of Pritchard Colon. What followed was a harrowing ordeal that would test Pritchard's strength and resilience like never before. As he lay unconscious in a hospital bed, his family and friends kept a solemn vigil, praying for his recovery. It's the nightmare. Everything changed that day, that night. But as the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, hope began to fade. Despite the best efforts of his doctors, Pritchard remained in a coma, his fate hanging in the balance. They say that the, the, he's got a mark, you know, and the CT scan shows like a black spot that is too large. I look at him and it's, his resemblance isn't the same. Medical experts said Pritchard's injury was severe, a traumatic brain injury with potentially devastating consequences. Our goal was to stabilize him and give his body the best chance to heal. But despite their efforts, Pritchard's condition showed little improvement. With each passing day, the reality of his situation became painfully clear. But then after 221 days of coma, Pritchard finally woke up. Now he is still battling to fully recover from a left-sided subdural hematoma, which has left him with significant physical and neurological impairments. As of John 18, 2024, Colon's speech has not yet returned and he remains unable to walk under his own power, while his mobility is severely hampered by his condition. That's what Deontay Wilder has to say see things like that happen and then all we were oh that's a good now yeah it's a great knockout it's devastating making history and stuff like that but how much that man gonna suffer he may be all right right now a little bit but what about the next day what about two weeks from now what about a month from now maybe years from now and we seeing what happened look at look at look at cologne Talking about he Richard got Cologne. Hit. Richard Cologne. That's Richard Cologne. Yep. Correct. 
This man ain't have no kids. <laughs> man, they don't understand, man. Y'all don't fucking understand what we go through, man. And I don't even know him like that. But I always be an advocate for us because ah, this man would never know what it feel like to be somebody's father. And that's some of the precious thing in the world to be somebody's father. But he'll never be nobody's father, man. This man will never have a natural childhood ability of, 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 of living again because of he got in the ring to support his family. To all fighters out there, massive respect for risking your life just to entertain some people. Stay safe. <laughs>